Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena rapid fire videos tonight. I've recorded the other video and then realized we've got some patch notes as well on the test server. So we do have another update coming to the game. Now there is no new hero in it. There is going to be a new beast, um, but no new heroes because obviously just the test server only just got uh, the collaboration characters not too long ago so next update would probably be a new hero again and then we'll be back into normal but obviously we did get two as well so you know it'll take a minute but let's chat take a look at the patch notes and take a look what we got um first of all uh new heroes of Asperia season will begin i love heroes of Asperia. it's the pvp one where the high it's like everyone is involved in it it's got so many freebies it's just got i think normally like if you get diamond or something like that, you get about 50 summons, plus you get stargazers. I can't remember, but it's always just a truckload of summons. Fantastic event, which is really easy to push, even for new accounts um, in the last few days. And they just keep making it easier to get higher ranks because they reduce how many points you lose. Fantastic event. PvP, some people hate it. PvP, but like honestly... Amazing rewards for very little time investment in this one, in my opinion. So, glad that's coming back. I've got the Isle of Gold event. Now, this event has been done a few times. This is the one with the board where you go around, you place defenses, people roll, they attack, you get debuffs from the towers, all that stuff. You defend your, um, you know, your supplies, and then people can loot the supplies and stuff like that. It's a bit of a pillaging type event. Uh, added fortification, where once the territory has a certain number of high-level buildings, it will trigger the effects of the fortifications and help the adventurer defend against plundering okay so once you get so many buildings maxed out like not maxed out but high high enough level i don't know what that level is it's going to make your defenses stronger in some way by the sounds of it we've made some balance adjustments to some of the building effects for the specifics please refer to in game so that's cool we'll wait and refer to that when it happens added a new beast the winged lion adventurers can enter beast grounds to lure and capture them after completing stage 14-40 so the winged lion i get i guess start saving you you know this will be about a week away probably on global service so maybe start saving whatever uh ones you have if you're interested in this sort of thing i'm i think the winged lion it just sounds cool i think it's going to look cool because it's probably going to be a lion with wings name kind of suggests that i i i i like so this is a funny thing i don't l let me know let me know in the comments do you guys like the beast or not like the beast i love the beast i just think they're so cool i just wish they were more aesthetically pleasing and less uh, i just hate the stat crunch once you get all the skills unlocked i i just hate that feature in everything but yes it's a whale sink i get it it's just not fun for me it just seems meh but the beast they look cool i like some of the effects like i really like the grassy orb how he can he can go really quick give you those buffs for burst comps and stuff like that like i i, I really do like it i like the way the polar beast uh you know gets short, like gets gets around to using his ability faster when you cc enemies i love all that sort of stuff i think the mechanics behind them are pretty cool uh, i think the beasts look amazing um so yeah i like it but like i said the stat the stat thing's just a bit frustrating for me but you know it's always going to be a thing anyway moving on this is like the greatest feature like that has been needed for a long time now we do have the other thing with the uh the lab where you were able to you know copy someone's run or whatever but th this is really nice unfortunately it doesn't kick in till 38-60 i was hoping it would be a little bit earlier um because like the the I'll, I'll read it and then I'll talk about it. So, added the level sweep feature for Arcane Labyrinth, uh, which can be unlocked by adventurers after clearing stage 38-60. This feature can only uh, be used for the uh, for the first time. The, for the first tile, once tapped, the player will sweep multiple stages, reach the third stage's entrance, uh, and receive the corresponding reward. So basically, I think that what that's, what that's saying is, on the first, like as soon as you enter the labyrinth, you can't do any battles or anything. Once you're just in there, you click that button, you go straight to the third floor, and then you just play the third floor, but you get all the rewards that you would have had otherwise, which is fantastic. I, like, this feature... 
along with the feature, like I feel like it's going to come in earlier. I feel like Labyrinth gets tedious earlier, but maybe because I've played so many accounts now. But I feel like this feature, along with the auto next stage feature, I, like at least let it like if you have one account like on your account, one server on your account that's at this stage, give it to all of them. I, I just like because because honestly, labs just a big issue when you play alts. That's when it becomes a real issue because then it's just time consuming and, and, and frustrating for me anyway. I play a lot of alts and, you know, lab is just that tedious thing every second day where, you know, you're going to get the rewards, but, you know, you just got to slog through it. Please give it to your alt accounts as well. And and and, and that, that one, I, I, I get having the high chapter requirement for this one, but honestly, the auto next stage thing that they introduced, that has to be available for every new player coming into the game. I, I just think it's such a fundamental thing that makes the game a lot cruisier. But hey, I'm, I, I digress. I'm getting a bit off topic. Added stages 76 to 90 in the Forest Mania, a bit more Candy Crush, if you like. I struggled on the newer Candy Crush ones where they swap around and stuff. If you've played it, you know if you haven't you know maybe for some summons do it but it's pretty pretty tedious if i opinion you don't want a big candy crush player uh players can unlock it by completing stage 16-1 cool beans added the adventure limestone valley to the voyage of wonders which will be available on yada 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 26 that's not even far away sweet new voyage uh added the new chapter to the campaign 53 to the i wonder how many people are in 52 at the moment I got no idea. But if you get into chapter 53, wow. Uh, moving on from that, added a new Misty Valley season. Uh, it's about to commence, yada, yada, yada. Misty Valley. Ooh, the option baits has been added to some of the treasure troves. Rewards, nice. Misty Valley. It's always, it's always sick on the Misty Valley reset. The one thing that triggers me with Misty Valley is how, like, when it unlocks, you're like, ooh, ooh, let me get in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Okay, let's do it. And then you got to wait, like, 10 days to unlock the rest of it or however long it is. That's tedious. Anyway, let's keep going on from there. Uh, glorified guilds adjustments and optimizations uh, added the hunting fields page where adventurers can view information on the top teams from past hunting field seasons and receive honor honorable rewards. Optimized the performance of the abyssal expedition page. Cool beans. We'll wait and see that when it comes in. Next up, uh, after the update, we'll be optimizing the brief description of some skills. Uh, progressively, uh, adventurers can switch between various skills interfaces i believe what that is is with like pets you know when we go to the pet interface how you've got like the the the, the tldr version of their abilities and then you click that button and it shows you like all the multipliers all the percentages all that stuff sounds like they're going to progressively do that to all the characters as well which i think is a really good change because some of the the skill descriptions in recent characters like over the last six months have been getting just incredibly hectic and just a basic understanding of those those skills would be really nice so i think that's a really good idea by them battle adjustments and changes optimize the brief description of some beef beast skills uh actual okay so this is talking about the, the shorter description i i think like you know with the polar beast uh you know it's it's short description doesn't say that it charges faster when you see, see an enemy. So I think they'll just like add, make sure they get all the, all the stuff in those. I believe that's what it's talking about. Um, optimize the adjust, optimize and adjusted the effects of relics, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Not really too stressed on that. Scrag the cunning fixed an anomaly where in some extreme situations, iron jaws were not cleared at the end of battle and battle effects remain unchecked. I, I've seen this a lot. Like I haven't seen it recently, but early days, I used to see this all the time. So what happens is Scrag, he uses his like passive where the iron jaws run across and knock enemies back. But if they're running across when a battle ends, they stop. And then what it is, it's like the little, the, it's like the iron jaw stops and a mini version of Scrag sits there. So it's like, a, just just like, it's like normal Scrag's win victory animation, but like it's, it's another one miniaturized so like it, it included not just the iron jaw but it also included included another version of scrag i remember seeing that ages ago i haven't seen it in ages but if it's still a thing that's cool i like it that's the kind of thing you should not remove from the game it's a fun little easter egg for people to get it so i think i i think it's a it's an absolute outrage that that is getting removed because that was a cool thing so please leave it in love but anyway guys that is going to be it for the patch notes pretty decent patch actually with uh, plenty of events new beast uh, a bunch of new stuff coming honestly i'm i'm 
pretty happy with what we've got in there. There's, there's a plenty of stuff to keep us busy. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.